everyone, this is Miss Kabibi from Kabibi Hair, and in this video, I'm finally doing my wig review. Thank you guys so much for being patient, by the way. This has been, it has been two months since I've worn this wig, and I have a love-hate relationship with this wig. Here are the pros. The pros is it's incredibly pretty. When you wash it or co-wash it, the curls really pop. It looks really nice. The cons is it tangles like crazy and it is an extremely high maintenance wig. So before I tell you whether or not I would recommend you buy it, I'm going to give you the good, the bad, and the ugly of this wig. And I actually have notes on my phone because Yes, I've been taking notes throughout the process, so I can give you guys a thorough review. Okay, first off, who should not buy this wig? Please know yourself. If you're not very patient, do not buy this wig. When I say patient, I mean you need to have the diligence to gently detangle this wig, depending on how often you wear it, um, as often as twice a week. Like, co-wash it, detangle it. I was literally taking the wig with me in like take it off my head hopping in the shower and like combing detangling with conditioner like in the shower with the wig like this it is high maintenance let me tell you so if you're not very patient do not buy this wig because you're going to be very frustrated okay if you think that wigs should be no fuss where you just pop it on pop it off and it should keep its style and look great do not get this wig. Hey, buddy. We have a visitor. Say hi. Oh, we have another visitor. Say hi. Okay. You boys sit still. Sit, sit right there. Okay. Good boys. Okay. So, yes. Um, if you think wigs should just be, you, you know, no fuss, don't get this wig. Let me tell you. You're going to be so frustrated. Um, and I'd rather spare you the frustration. If you can't stand tangles, do not buy this wig. Um... If you want a wig that will last you for months, I would not recommend this wig either. I think for me, I can reasonably get three months out of it and perhaps longer if instead I had... Can you boys make a decision, please? You're interrupting mama's video. Sorry. If So the way I was wearing the wig was I would sew it on by my ears and I was going to sleep with it and I would take it off every couple of days to then moisturize and seal my real hair underneath. Now, the reason I did that was just to save time. I kind of felt like if I stitched it on as opposed to take it off and take it on, I mean, take put it on and take it off every day, it would save me time. It did save me time, but the trade-off to that was just like the tangles. So when I went to bed, I would put it up, and I didn't have a video showing you how I sort of like prep the wig and go to sleep, and I'll post it, I'll post the link down below. Um, but I would not recommend doing that. So if you want a wig that you can just put on and take off on a daily basis, you should not have any problems with it. But to do it the way I did it, I think that may have contributed to the, the issue. For those of you, if knowing all that, you still decide to get this wig, here are some tips that will help you to get the most out of the wig and have it last you longer. So the first thing, only co-wash it. When I first washed it, I used shampoo, and up until that point, the hair was not really tangling. And I'd used the Moroccan oil shampoo, it's a moisturizing shampoo, and the hair seemed to be fine, but just after that, it just sort of like changed. Don't towel dry it. Let it drip dry or use a diffuser. Um, that will less likely disturb the curls, and it'll also, what I found was when I would towel dry it and then let it dry, it would just tangle up more. Let's see. I personally only used water and serum on a daily basis to restyle it. Maybe that's another reason why I tangled so much. Perhaps I should have used a moisturizer. This is the first time I've used curly human hair extensions, wig, you, you know, what have you. So I'm not really sure exactly what would have been better, but I just kept it simple with the water and the serum and it worked out well. Let's see. Embrace the nape tangles. It is going to tangle at the nape. Other reviewers had mentioned that. Just it's you're just gonna have to embrace it. Um, oh, okay. Other tip: put a bobby pin at the top. So I have a bobby pin right here 
that I use since I'm not since I didn't glue it down in the front putting a bobby pin in here at the very top and you can also put one at the nape helps it so that if you pull it's not going to go anywhere like this part is not going to lift up let's see get a Denman brush the Denman brush was amazing this was the first time I've used a Denman brush because since my hair is text laxed I don't really need to worry about curls but the Denman brush really helped to detangle and get the curls to pop and only comb it when it's wet or when it has conditioner in it trust me on this uh, let's see the other thing I think I would do differently is I would actually co-wash it right out of the package when you wash it and you see how the curls pop it looks amazing I mean out of the package it looks great but it just looks a little bit drier and a bit more fluffy so if you want to go for that wet look then co-wash it right out of the package and use some of the serum on it while it's still soaking wet and that does help to maintain the wet look uh, okay so ultimately would I buy this wig again Yes and no. Yes, I would buy this wig again if I plan to just wear it once in a while. Like if I plan to pop it on, go out dancing, go out to dinner, change up my look for a night. Absolutely, it's a beautiful wig. Would I do it again as a protective style and wear it daily? No, because it's so high maintenance. Like I honestly, if there was ever a question as to whether I had the patience to go natural, this wig answered that question. Natural hair, curly hair, it requires so much more patience to be gentle with detangling and working through the knots so you don't do damage. Honestly, I do not, I don't have the patience for it. Like, just know yourself. I know myself. When I tell you I took that Denman brush and I was just like yanking it through the knots sometimes, it's a miracle it still has this much thickness left to it, like honestly. Um, and also this is actually, I literally just washed this wig an hour ago. So this is great. So you guys can see what I'm dealing with when I say it's starting to tangle. Like it was not doing this when I first got the wig, but just with the, the wear and tear and wear and tear, just with wearing it often, going to sleep in it. It's been two months. It, it takes a toll on the wig. It really does. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to be wearing this for another three weeks. My next hair appointment is at the end of January, flying to DC to get my relaxer done. I'm really excited about that, to see what my progress is. And I think after that, I probably will not be wearing this wig again. I'll wear my real hair out for a couple weeks and then I'll decide what I want to do um, after that. So I really hope this review was helpful. Oh, the most important information. Where can you buy this wig? I will post the link in the information box below so you can find out all the details of the wig. The wig cost, it was $120. I got the 16 inch and the 120 included the shipping. The shipping was actually really fast. The customer service worked out well and I also posted a video where I showed my initial reactions to it. So you can take a look at that as well and see the comparison between how it looks now compared to how it looked then. So yeah, so go ahead and check out the link below for the information. If you decide to buy it, please let me know. I would love to hear if you have any tips on how you worked around the tangles. So in the event that I do decide to get another one in the future, I can be better prepared. So I hope this video was helpful. Oh, one more thing before I forget. Please make sure to check out the Change Your Hair Challenge. It's a year-long challenge that I'm doing for a healthy hair makeover. And it's going to be broken up into different phases. And right now we are in phase one. So check out that video so you can join the challenge. And hopefully by the end of this year, you'll have changed your hair from being unhealthy to healthy, short to long, if that's your goal. If you're transitioning, then you'll transition from relaxed to natural. Whatever your goal is, we're all about helping you to achieve it. Um, all right, so I'll see you guys later. Bye.